Hello everyone, Ronnie Bencer, the Hangout Helper here with Trevor Beck and what we're going to do is help you understand how to schedule meetings with multiple people and find the right time that everybody can meet. And there's some really cool tools out there that we've been looking at and Trevor has brought a few of them to my attention and so we're going to do our best to help everybody out there in live video land understand what's going on. If you are seeing this now, um, please feel free to comment on YouTube or on Google Plus or wherever you happen to be seeing the video and we'll con or get back to you those comments we'll try to bring them into the show if possible and the goal is to try to keep it to about a 30 minute segment and not go beyond that and so Trevor would you please tell us what it is that you found and think is wonderful sure thanks Ronnie so the biggest challenge that we're all facing of course is trying to find a time that works for everyone when we're doing meetings. If you're a consultant, you know what the problem's like, trying to get all these different people together. If you are in a group such as a baseball team, or in my case it was like scouts or whatever, and I need to get meetings set up, trying to find a time was the hardest part of, of organizing everything. It's not so bad if you happen to be a Google user, because with Google Calendar, you can share each other's calendars. You can I could share my calendar with Ronnie. Ronnie could see when I've got availabilities open and uh, when I don't have them. Doesn't see necessarily the detail, but he can tell when exactly I have free time. That works great between Google Calendar users. Where that challenge kind of comes in is that if you don't have a Google Calendar, then you don't get to be able to use all these wonderful features that Google gives us. So we're looked at some other options. And the one we're going to talk about tonight is called Doodle. Uh, which is a mobile uh, web, sorry, it's a website, mobile.com. You can use it on your mobile device. It's a great way of basically saying, what's a good time for you? I'm going to start off by um, a screen share, and I'll take you through the step it's all about. Yeah, oh, when you when yes. you do the screen when you do the screen share, the sound right now we're having issues. So just you might not want to talk during switching to the screen share because it lost it. You say we're going to start out using and then we lost you. Okay, then I will switch first and then I'll continue talking. Okay, and so Doodle is spelled with a D, D-O-O-D-L-E dot com. Doodle dot com. Correct. Uh, can you hear me still? Yes. Okay. Now, when you go to Doodle, you can use it without actually having to sign in. Um, what I'm going to recommend is that when you go in uh, and just use this feature or this uh, service, actually go in and create an account because there are some advantages to it that we'll, we'll point out as we go along. Everything else, as far as the first steps that we're going to be looking at right now, is the same. But when you log in, it gives you a whole bunch of different uh, choices that are really cool. So this is the Doodle dashboard page. And when you come to this page, you can schedule an event or make a choice. The make a choice is basically a poll. So, you know, it's kind of like, um, here's a list of items, pick one. Quite frankly, if you needed to do something like that, I would use uh, Google Forms instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at schedule an event. Right, so the, go the goal, if I remember right, <laughs> we're trying to just make sure that we can get multiple people together for a particular meeting without having to go back and forth with a lot of emails. That's, that's correct. Okay, so we're, we're using the schedule an event thing. That's correct. So I'm uh, using an account called Jazz the Poodle. Jazz was a dog I used to have. And uh, the, the title that we've got here is uh, Walk in the Park. And I can put a description and a location just like you would with any kind of Google Calendar. And because I already have an account created, it has my name and the email address that I'm going to be using for this account. You can go ahead and change it, but you know what's the point if you want to get these emails? So again, this is the same regardless of whether you've signed in or not. The next thing we go to do is we go to look at the, diff the times. Now, if you don't choose, or sorry, if you don't log in, Google will not actually sync up with your calendar, or sorry, Doodle will not sync up with your calendar. When I first created my account, Doodle actually says, would you like us to sync with your calendar? And you can sync with your Google calendar, with iCloud, with your Yahoo calendar. There's a whole bunch of different choices. And this is in the free version, is that right? Th that's correct. Okay. So here you can see 
this is Jazz's calendar. So what's happened is it's actually pulled in the different calendar activities that are going on. And we can see she's fairly busy. She's got some feeding and napping going on during the course of this week. <laughs> and you'll also know, for those of us that use more than one calendar, it will actually display all the activities for all the different calendars. So if you have a, a home calendar and a work calendar as different layers, it will bring all that information in. So for me now, it makes it very easy for me to pick and choose times that are available. So if we're going to go for a walk in the park, I might want to do one here, I've got time here, and maybe I'll do one on Saturday at 1 o'clock. Trevor, let me ask a quick question. You, sure. We're looking at, I mean, who's doing what? Who started the event that's saying we want to, you're right now basically saying I'm going to set up a thing and then send that on to other people to see if they can join in on these particular times? Is that what you're doing? Or? Correct. Yeah. I've logged in as Jazz, and this is Jazz's calendar. And okay. Jazz is the person making making these choices. Okay. So you'll notice it says your time proposal. So these That's are the where times. I was confused. I didn't realize you were Jazz. So sure. I got it now. Sorry. I should put on a fuzzy coat and look kind of furry. Okay. Um, but this is what we, we have now. So I've got these three different options. So we go to the next step. We can do what's called a basic poll or there's some other options. Let's just stick with the basic poll now because for 90% of what most people are going to be doing, this is what we'll be using. So we'll go to the next. And of course, the next step is send it out to somebody. So I have a couple of different choices. I can either just hit finish, in which case it will take me to a page that will provide me with a couple of links. One is a link that gets sent out to the different users that they can go to, click on, and come in here and enter their name and select what they, uh, what's available for them. So I could do this all manually. Or I can do it through Doodle. Doing it through Doodle is pretty easy. I don't have to go outside to my Gmail account or anything else. Um, so I can just start typing in and putting an email. You may be working through Google Plus and maybe you've got a circle that you want to send it out to. If that's the case, you're going to want to use the manual version. In this case, because I'm going through my email addresses, I'm going to start typing. And these things about it because I've tied into my Google account, the names also are going to populate from that account. So th this, is, this is a teaching Trev, is a person who's in the Jazz's uh, contacts. Okay, so you, you, while you're doing that, because you're typing, it's kind of losing your, your sound every once in a while. You're saying that because you signed in, you're able to grab email addresses from your accounts automatically. You just start typing them and it puts them in there? That's correct. Um, I, I can't speak to iCloud or Yahoo if you happen to link the, sync up that way, but for, my, for those of us that are using Google, it seems to be pulling it in, no problem. And is that because you've connected to your Google Calendar, so in essence it's connected to Google Accounts, so then it has all your Google stuff? That, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, the process of going through and creating accounts is pretty simple, so I thought, you know, why should we waste time on that? It's, it's pretty easy like every, anything else that we sign up. Okay. I'm also going to keep a, an invitation to myself so that I can participate in the poll. And then this is the message that's going to get sent out to everyone. So I can, of course, uh, um, it, it's a you standard can poll. That. I can modify it down here with a personal message. Um, but here you can see the, the walk in the park. If I had any details, it would probably be added to that as well. As an option, and we're not going to do it this time, but I would like to track whom I've invited and who is still missing. In the case of what we're doing right now, I'm just going to get a link and I'm just going to send it out to Teaching Trev. But if he wants to forward that off to, to his friends of his and stuff like that, because it's an open uh, poll or open invitation, that's, we, we need to keep this um, unchecked. Does that make sense? Um, where did you choose that it was open? In other words, I thought well, I would think the invitation just goes to whomever you send it. It, it does, but I'm sending a link saying anyone can come to this link, but I'm only sending it to certain people. The moment that I click on this, this here it says track whom I've invited and who is missing, then you get a specific link sent to each of the individuals. Oh, so the fact that it's not checked means it's open. That's correct. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go hit send and finish. So at this point in time, Doodle on behalf of me has sent out a, a poll, and I'm just going to take this here and this is a, what they're going to see when they get it. There's the link and you'll notice here it says share this link with all those who should cast their votes. That's a public link 
that okay. we mentioned before that I can send by email, put in a Google Plus, whatever. So people would uh, if come in and they would sign up, and, or sorry, they would put their name in here and check off which ones that they want. Now I'm just going to go over to uh, this other account. Okay. And now this is Teaching Trev, and we'll go take a quick look. So I got an, a, a link here by email telling me that there's this happening. Do I want to participate? Sure. Okay, so right now you're acting as a different person. You just received the link to ask, asking you if you can decide to help us figure out where or what time the meeting should happen. Correct. I can say it, really. I'm just getting okay. stuck on my words. Okay, looks good. All right, so I'm going to put in here, so this is, I'll put in Teaching Trev. And right, just as a, a reminder or a question, um, this person that received the email, they don't need to have an account at all for Doodle, right? They just receive an email and they can do what you're doing right now. Is that right? That's correct. Because okay. it's it's an open, and it'll be, just whoever happens to have the link, right? Okay. Um, but I'm going to show you a trick about that too because that's that there's some other cool tricks that happen later. So here's Teaching Trev and there's the, uh, the, the choices. So I'm going to say, you know what, I want this one and I want this one. And then I hit save. Okay, so you've chosen two out of the three options. That's so two out, two out of the three options would potentially work for your schedule, basically. That's correct. Okay, so is that and just jazz for, in the background? <laughs> that's one of the two dogs. I don't know okay. what they're barking at. Okay. Um, and then here, there's a, just a notification. Now remember, Teaching Trev does not own this poll, but if I want, I can uh, I can say, hey, I want information on anyone else that may participate and uh, and anything else that happens within that poll. So as a recipient of the link, you have the option to say, I'd like to see who else is voting for different times? At this point, that's correct. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Jazz's view. And Jazz, is, of course, is going to say that I want all of these that are available. Now, because I have logged in with my Google account, you'll notice here it says on save, synchronize to, and this is one of my calendars. So if mm -hmm. I take a look, there's all the different calendars. So this will automatically, once I've chosen one, get added to my Google Calendar. Now, in the case of uh, someone who uses a lot of Google Plus events, like yourself, you might not want that added automatically to your calendar. So you could just select no calendar. Okay. But for the most part, I'm going to pretend that I'm somebody that, that deals with a lot of people who haven't got into the Google Plus world yet, and um, you know, we're just going. I'm just going to work with calendars and do all my invitations through calendars and stuff like that. Right. But you started this whole process out inside Doodle, right? You didn't start it out on your Google Calendar. You started in Doodle, but Doodle happened to be able to see what you had blocked off as not available in the Google Calendar. Is that right? That's, that's correct. Okay. So I'm going to hit save. So my choices are in, and, and I'm just going to, and again, if I click on this, I will get emails every time someone uh, does any action. So remember how, uh, let me just see if, it came, if, if I had worked it before it worked. Yeah, so nothing's coming here yet, but if I had, because I've now just went in Google, I've, and I'm now just going to say uh, inform me, so any time that someone s submits a, uh, an entry or a choice in there, it will email me so I can go in and check and see what's happening with the poll. With the poll. Okay. All right, so now we can take a look at this. And because this is an open link, I could have like 15, 20 different names that all pop in there. So it's just a matter of who, whoever has it. The beauty of this is that Doodle now goes through and shows me where, we, where, where the, um, uh, the best choices are, the best options. Okay. Okay. Now, just, just for, for the heck of it, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to open up an, a new tab, and I'm going to take that same link. And so this, this is, is the, now you're teaching Trev, you're not the initiator, right? You're the person that received Actually, at this point in time, teaching Trev has passed this on to Billy the Kid. So, oh, another person. So I'm, okay. I'm going to pretend I'm Billy the Kid. Hi, Billy. I can only make it here. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to close Billy off because I know it's going to get confusing soon. But but basically, what's happened is Jazz has had um, sent it off to two different people. So I'll refresh it, and there's Billy the kid, and there notice the star now on the one that's got the best chance. Hmm. Okay. So you may end up with ten people, and maybe only seven can make it 
here, but it's still the best choice. So Doodle will say, yep, that's, that's what we're going to use. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. It does. All right. So um, we can close the poll. I'm just going to actually just head over to the administration tool. So no, wait, a, wait, before, you, or maybe this is what you're going to do next. When you, dis, you as the initiator of the Doodle event poll, I'm not sure what to call it, but maybe that'll work. You as the initiator of that, when do you say, okay, voting's done, this is it, we're going to meet at this particular time? Is that what you're about to do? That's what I'm about to do. Sorry, go for but, it. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> um, so, so now we're at the administration, and I could have closed it off at that page that we were at before, but I just wanted to show everyone what, what the page here. So when I'm in administration, you've got all these different things that we can do. I can invite more participants. I can send it. An email out to those that I've uh, um, I can delete people if I want to go through so there's all the this section here just deals all with participants um, here's the poll itself do I want to edit it I can close it I can look at notifications I can history or even just create a duplicate if uh, you know the same I want the same people I want to use them again um, it's a, a standing meeting maybe I don't know um, but I can create duplicates and one of the cool part is if there's like let's say there's 300 people in this I can export it to Excel I can export the poll to a PDF and there's reasons that you might want to do that down the uh, down the road in the um, more advanced function actually we'll talk about that in a second so let's just close this off here okay so I've closed so closing it off. the closing the poll means did you actually as jazz did you select that box or did it just choose it for you it chose it for me okay because that's the best choice. I can still override it and click on something else, but okay. it Doodle has said, "Oh, I, I recognize this, and uh, I'm gonna I'll do it for you, and, if, and you know, make it easy for you." So this is this is the best choice. Works for me. Works for everyone else. So I'll just hit save. So what happens now is there was two things screens that kind of popped in there really quick. One showed the calendar, and the other is is this here. It now says, "Okay, we we know you've confirmed it. Let's send out some emails." So it will again now do this on my behalf if I want. So there's the same people we had before. There's the message saying, yep, here's the final date that we've picked, and we're going to send this off. Pretty so cool. I'm just going to hit send, and it's, it's gone off. Okay. So let's take a quick look at uh, over here. Now this is Teaching Trev. Okay. Let's go back to his inbox. Walk in the park, we can see. Yep, he's. Uh, we've we've now chosen the final date. For those of us that are on uh, Google, uh, and if you're using your Gmail, you'll notice that uh, there's these sense. I uh, uh, can't remember what they call them now, but anytime Gmail senses a date or recognizes a date, you just curse over it. You can add this to your calendar automatically. Because right now, all I'm doing with uh, Teach, Mr. Teach, there is I'm just emailing back and forth. So if he wants now, he can just sit there and go, okay, I'll look at my calendar. So this is Teaching Trev. His calendar's free. Thanks to Google, I can go click on here. And, I, oh, there's, there's, there's my calendar. It displays what's going on. And I'm going to add that to my calendar. Yeah, I noticed this just a couple of days ago. I made a post about it. It's really cool how Gmail just sort of figures out when a date and time is. And you can add it right to your calendar or at least look right there and see if there's other things going I love on that. at that time. Yeah, I love that part where, where you click on any of these dates and it shows you that day and you can go, yep, nope, yeah. or it doesn't work. And so, it even translates to your time zone, which was really amazing for me that it did that all at once for free. So here we have our walk in the park. So teaching Trev is now confirmed. Let's go take a look at Jazz. Let's look at Jazz's calendar. And you'll notice, remember when I uh, first went and set some times? Mm-hmm. So there's a couple of times. Notice how it says Doodle tentative. So Doodle actually, because when I created this originally, Doodle said, okay, I know these are tentative, so I'm just going to mark these in here for you. Now, I'm just going to refresh, and sure enough, there it is. Walk in the park, Doodle. And all the tentatives are gone, right? And all the tentatives are gone. So the tentative is great because, I mean, I can leave that open. And, and you, I mean, how many times have we said, well, you know, I'm going to pick the, you know, can you make it on Thursday at this time or Friday at this time? And then what ends up happening is you double book because you forgot right. to write it down because no one got back to you. So with right. Doodle, at least it keeps kind of a placeholder there. So you have, you know, the idea. 
So that's the cool part of, of, of Doodle. And now I've got the, uh, the, this, um, the whole event here. And I'm just going to go to the top here and click on my dashboard. And this is one of the other advantages that we have over if you, just, if you don't sign in. With Google, it does send you, or sorry, Doodle, that's getting to be a little hard. It was, right. Doodle, it does send you a link, so a link to the admin page. And if you don't sign in, you get that. And if you do sign in, you get that. The difference is when you do sign in, it actually keeps track of all the different polls that you've created. So if I'm very busy and I'm trying to set up 10 different meetings, I'm going to have all 10 of my meetings show up here in this dashboard. Whereas if I don't sign in, I will have 10 emails that I will have to go to back and forth to check on and make sure everything's, you know, who's done what and what's, ha what's happening. Here, everything's in one place. Does that make sense? Yeah, that looks yeah. pretty good. Pretty good. So let me, um, are, are you done with the presentation part or you have more to do? I want to show one more thing because okay. some of the advanced choices that are really kind of cool. So before All I start right. any advanced choices, perhaps if you want to check and see if there's any well, I was, uh, I was looking to see if there's any comments out there that are coming in and I'm not seeing any. So I'm just going to say let's keep on going, except maybe a quick, quick review or summary. Basically, what we just did is you, as Jazz, set up three potential times and then allow Doodle to send that information on to whoever else you wanted to invite in, and they chose out of those times which ones worked for them, and all that information got sent back to Jazz, and then you as Jazz said, okay, let's lock it down, or let's book it. What, what was the word, or the thing that you pushed? Confir well, let's just let's pick one. We, we picked pick one, one, or confirmed, confirmed one date. Okay, and so you confirmed it, and then that sent out automatically an email to the other people that were voting saying this is the time that we're going to be meeting and the next step is you took one of those emails and said let's add that to the calendar of the recipient and it all worked wonderfully and that's where we are right and and keep in mind because um, we're still using a calendar and there is a calendar component uh, or appointment that's been set as the owner of that uh, appointment I can now go and make that a hangout right because you can make your hangouts through your calendars as opposed to through a Google event so yeah. for people that prefer doing that route and and you and I have talked about advantages and disadvantages of either way but you know for new users who are just trying to get into the hangouts and stuff who like who still like the calendar idea that way they can still go and make a hangout into the in, in there as well yeah a lot of times I actually use um, when I'm on the phone or in a hangout with somebody and I'm trying to schedule something I will actually go to my calendar and mark off that spot that we agreed is a good time this is before doodle okay and right. I would just go in and mark it off on my calendar then when I go set up an event I can go in and choose the date and it'll show me the time that I've already marked off because I made a note there and that right. reminds me of what it is and then I enter it in and then go back and delete the initial holder let's say you know the placeholder for it right right so, I mean, there's lots of ways of, of making use of Doodle. I mean, the, the, the important thing here is that we've picked a time. Right. So, what I... I'm, that works. Okay, I just, I just want to make sure that I wasn't cutting off again. So, oh, I'm, going to do it, I'm going to do another event, and then we're just going to take a quick look at the, uh, the, um, the other stuff. So, um, um, so, we're back in Doodle. This is... Are we still doing the free stuff, or are you looking at some of the bonus things? No, this stuff is all still free. That's okay, the, the great. Cool there, stuff there is it. a paid version of this, isn't there? Yes, and I think we'll we'll see some of the, what what you get out of that in, in the next screen here. Okay. So here we're going to do drink at the stream, and I'm going to pick a time here. Whoops. <laughs> I love the events. This is for the dog. Yes. Going to walk and drink at the stream. Great stuff. Thank you. Okay, so I've picked my two times that I want to use, and now I go over to, to, to next. Now, remember uh, this optional settings? This is the, uh, these are some really cool things, and these are free still. So here's what we have. We have yes, no, if need be, poll. So instead of checking off, yes, I can make it, you get these items here instead to check off for those things. So it gives you some extra options, you know, because sometimes someone will say, no, I can't make it. Well, if I really have to be there, I can cancel this or do that, whatever. So you can use that selection there. 
The hidden poll means exactly what it says. Remember when we had the link and it said uh, you can go to here and see who else is coming? Mm -hmm. This allows us to say, nope, you can't see who it is. You're okay. just going to blindly show up and that's what uh, that's going to happen. Participant can only choose one option. That's fairly obvious. Limit the number of participants per option. This I love. So let's assume that I'm going to be doing a class. And in my class, I, uh, I'm gonna ha I have three classes. There are 60 people, and I have three different classes. I can only have 10 people or nine people because I'm doing Hangouts on Air. So I have three appointments or three sessions set up. Each of them can take nine people. I can now set this up and send this to people, and everyone can go, oh, this session works best for me. This session works best for me. And they can keep adding up until we reach that critical number, at which point we can't take any more. And then it closes it out to the others that are, have not chosen yet? That's correct, because it'll say this, this session is full. So mm -hmm. it, it uses it a bit differently than what we, we talked about. Um, and I'm just going to use my own email just so we don't have to go through the, all the other stuff. But if we take a look at the finish. So here's the link. So I can copy that. And if I wanted to, I can now use this um, in Google Plus or whatever else. This again is is uh, is is open to everyone. And let's take this over here back to teaching Trev. Okay, and so it started with Jazz again, the dog, and now we're at teaching Trev. Just received the link in one way, shape, or form, and is now looking at the invitation. That's correct. So here's Bob. He's going to try and get into session but notice each option can be chosen by a maximum of nine participants so I hit save now I'm going to switch back to jazz we're going to go to our admin link and I'm going to look at the table view here because there's two views I mean we can look at the stuff this way or we can look at the table view which is when we're looking at stuff so Bob who can't spell his name is going to be in here but notice one of nine nice so so now you can go through and as a as a instructor or teacher or whatever you want you can you can now use those options okay. um, so that's that's the basic stuff that's the freebie stuff now there is a paid version um, that will get you some extra options where you can ask for people when they sign up to to include their email so if, if if we broadcast it to the world and I don't have your email because you you posted on a Google Plus somewhere, um, the extra options uh, will allow me to go ahead and post that and, uh, and and get those emails and stuff. So there's different features that you can get with that. There's a couple of other functions. There's uh, something called Book Me, which is kind of like the uh, appointment slots, where I can set up times and say um, from s I'm taking appointments from seven o'clock till ten o'clock, and people can go in and select their times. It's, it's a paid version, and if you stick around to the next session that we're doing, we actually have a free version that does the same thing and better. So, But just so you know that. The other thing is uh, when you look at... Uh, I'm going to make sure I'm paused here. When yeah. you look at Doodle here, if we scroll down, you'll see group scheduling and one-on-one -on -one scheduling. So this is our group scheduling. One-on-one -on -one scheduling gives us an option called Meet Me, which is still free. What Meet Me says is, give me a view of my calendar. So I can actually post my Google calendar, um, and Doodle will allow me, allow me as a different person to go in and see where I've got the appointments and stuff, choose an appointment, and request that, that spot. So for example, I'm just going to pull this up real quick, Doodle, Doodle, and I think it was Book Jazz was the name of it. So this is instead instead of me getting having to pick spot or sorry instead of me choosing from three or four spots that Jazz had set up, I get to see Jazz's whole calendar and then I can pick a spot. So I can say, well, this spot looks good, and I can pick you know two or three of them. And then what happens is this information when I submit it gets sent back to Jazz. Jazz can then pick one of these different um, events that has been suggested and and then again the same process I confirm it and then it gets added to my my calendar and all that kind of stuff okay I see there there was a uh, question that I want to bring in from the stream and it's from Douglas and Douglas is asking if for example a poll is limited to four people and all four respond 
and Doodle selects the best option, will the participants receive confirmations automatically? In other words, do they automatically get those confirmations or does the originator, I'm adding to the question, but does the originator need to select one or is it just going to do it when Doodle decides it's done? I don't know. Uh, I, I haven't played around with that, because, to be honest. Um, I Good would assume it's going to be very similar to Yeah, yeah. You know what? It's free. Doug, uh, Douglas, if you want to fool around with that and then uh, leave, a, leave your response in the uh, comments here, I will probably play around with that as well and, and find that out. Um, one of the other things that I forgot to mention is, let's say Ronnie and I were trying to schedule stuff, and I sent my information request for meetings to Ronnie, and Ronnie um, has a Doodle account. Remember before when Teaching Trev first got it, he didn't see any calendar. He just saw, here are the three choices you can choose from. And then I went and made my choice. Mm -hmm. If I was logged in, and like if we both had accounts, when it came time for you to choose which is the best choice for you, and because you're logged in, Google actually would display your calendar along with my choices so that you would see your own cal Google Calendar. This is the only one that I can fit in. I can just pick the Tuesday one. Does that make sense? I think so. When I heard you, you broke up there. So you said Google will automatically display your calendar with the other person's choices so that you can more easily decide whether what you've got is conflicting with their choices or not. Is that That's right? correct. Yep. Okay. Great. Um, one other comment from out there, or a couple. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Meberic? is asking if Doodle is owned by Google, and from my understanding, it's not. And another one from YouTube is a person named A Cyber Guy, and he says he came in late. Does Doodle integrate with Google Plus? He's a newbie at 66. Well, congratulations for being a newbie at 66. Um, I don't think technically Doodle integrates with Google Plus. However, you can use Google Plus to send out one of those links that's basically saying if you want to join into the meeting, here's the link to go and vote on Doodle. Take the poll and make it known that this is the time that you can in, uh, interact with it or join into that meeting request. Right. Just don't bother when you're when you're setting up uh, sending out notifications. Just don't send out the emails. You can just take the um, the link and paste it into your Google Plus um, and then send it off to a circle or publicly or whatever you want. Yeah, you could, have, you could have a group of people that you're wanting to meet and they are people that you have circled inside Google+, Plus, maybe a circle of 15 people or something like that. You could send the link to that circle and then each and every person, is instead of using email, you're just using Google+, Plus to send a private message. So I think in that sense, you can, you can make it integrate, but it's not built in. So there you go. That's um, probably right up on our 30-minute time area. So thanks, Trevor. That's great. Um, we're going to have another follow-up scheduling. Um, I was looking at the comments, Trevor, so I'm, I think you just said it. But did you talk about the idea of, what, of that booking software that we were talking about? Uh, yeah, I did mention. I didn't mention it by name. We're, we're going to look at uh, the next session. We're going to look at youcanbookme. Sorry, youcanbook.me, which allows you to choose the application slots, and then say, here's when I'm available, pick a spot, et cetera, et cetera. It's um, a, lo a, little, a lot more complicated, but a lot of great power. Okay. So that's not you can, you can book me com. It's youcanbook.me. Correct. Okay. Silly me. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, Trevor. This is great. Um, we'll see you guys next, next time. We're not exactly sure when we're going to be doing it, but it should be coming up within the next uh, week or so. At least that's, I think, the intention. Does that sound about right? Yep. Okay, cool. So thanks for joining us, everyone. I've tried to bring in the comments where I could from out there, but we'll look in the event area as well as on YouTube, and we'll see you guys next time. This has been Ronnie Bincer, the Hangout Helper, and Trevor Beck trying to help you understand how to book or schedule a lot of people and get it to your meetings and get it as efficiently as possible. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. See you guys.